What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. So earlier today, I left and ran out to Lowe's to get some stuff. There's a bunch of things that I need in order to do the roof and to be able to staple in the hardware cloth. So I'm going to run in here to Lowe's and get a bunch of stuff and uh, try not to spend more than I should. Okay, I don't think I spent more than I should. I definitely put some stuff back. There was a tool that I might have put back. It might make its way to my house a different way. Shh. But it's like I always say, if you've got a project, every project should include a tool. It's part of the price of the project, people. You gotta know how to do this. Only this time I might have chickened out a little bit, but I'm gonna work up the gumption and and maybe order it on Amazon? Maybe? Courtney? Okay, now I gotta go get the roofing. It was the only thing I didn't get here because I can definitely get that cheaper somewhere else, so. Off to get the roofing, and then off to home to see what I can get done. It's looking like it's gonna rain today, so I don't even know that I'm gonna get to this project at all today. I really hope I do because well, then I got nothing else to show you for today. I'll have to make some stuff up. But if I can, it should be pretty awesome. Here's to no rain. And possibly a new tool. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Courtney? Yeah? And then when I got back, it was pouring. And pouring and pouring and pouring. So we finally got a little bit of a window to get out here and take care of some things. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get much, but we're gonna try and get done what we can. First thing we're gonna work on is getting these uh, beams up so we can put a roof on. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing to the whistle of the wind. Lord, I'm thankful for everything. I went back and forth about how I wanted to do these beams up here. In the end, I decided to go with 4x4 uh, on top of the 4x4, which meant that I had to notch it out. So I cut a notch in the post and I cut a notch in the beam itself. 
So that way when it sat on there, it's nice and square. I secured it with these timber lock screws, which are pretty awesome if you haven't ever used them before. They replace the 3 8 lag screw. Pretty sick. Allows me to get uh, pretty superior contact. Ain't going anywhere. I decided that this here has to come down. This situation here is not going to work because it's gonna carry a load and all of that load needs to push down on these corners. Since we're gonna put a roof on it and it's probably gonna snow and get some ice and all that, in order for it to carry the load, it needs to all be sitting on these posts. It's not a heavy load and it's not a really large roof, but it's definitely better to sit here than having a situation where it's just in with these structural screws, which might hold it, but I don't really want to risk it. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to take this down. I actually have to take it off both sides here, one side over there, then notch out the post, put the new one in, and we should be good. Question marks, our glasses in the air were a toast to the stars. Now, if it's true, if you just have better things to do, then you could let me know. Cause the radio silence with a shaky noise, filling through the channels to find your voice. I call out your name, but it echoes down the hall. Bounces off the window and sinks into the wall. I'm so tired, so tired in all the right. world. Hammer chisel. All that I get is one tone. Myself in danger and hide the doubt in an open container. But it's radio silence where there should be noise. Flipping through the channels to find your voice. I call out your name to the ceiling and the floor, but it slips across the tile and out through the Throw her like that. Sorry. But cats land on their feet. No, not all the time. Well, that's about all we're gonna have time for. I got the roof on, sort of. It's just kind of sitting on top of the beams. Tomorrow, when there's daylight, I'll have to come back. But uh, before I go, let's rock and roll. The other day, Robbie and I came out and we put on roof beams, ridge beams. I don't know why you're looking at me like I'm gonna have these words. Right? So I'm gonna have to get a little creative about how I cover the rest of that space. Cause that just seems like a silly waste of time. 